welcome to its tomorrow news and this is hena talati in today's show we would be discussing about the new low pressure system that has emerged in arabian sea that was to hit gujarat but now has diverted indian monsoon has still not shown any sign to retreat from india that cyclone gulab intensified in the bay of bengal battering the states of odisha and andhra pradesh Now this system has entered the Arabian Sea and could have intensified as cyclonic storm but diverted from its regular course. Today we have a very applauded expert with us Dr. Manorama Mohanty who heads the Indian Meteorological Department Gujarat Division in Ahmedabad. Dr. Mohanty will tell us the inception of this storm gulab. She will also answer our questions that may be related to the new low pressure area that has developed in Arabian Sea. So before starting our show let me take this pleasure to welcome Dr. Manorama Mohanty. Hello Dr. Mohanty how are you? Thank We you. are meeting for the uh, second time I think so right? Yeah. yeah. So let us start now. As you are already aware that the low pressure area has developed in the Arabian Sea. uh what do you want to say about that uh a low well mark low pressure area uh, had developed uh, uh, it was there in uh, south gujarat region and adjoining area uh, yesterday and today it, uh, it is at the position of that system uh, b uh, in english or hindi what do huh okay and uh, now its position is uh, North East Arabian Sea uh, of uh, Gujarat coast, and the system is now depression. In another twelve hours, uh, the system, the depression is likely to intensify into a deep depression, and during next subsequent twenty-four uh, hours, the dip, uh, deep depression will further intensify into a cyclonic storm. Okay, right. Thank you for this explanation, ma'am. Uh, now going towards our next question. Uh, this system emerged in the Bay of Bengal and it crossed whole the country uh, and entered the Ab- Arabian Sea. Can you explain uh, about that? Uh, the there was a cyclone named Gulab. It was formed in the Bay of Bengal and it crossed uh, the coast uh, uh, North Andhra Pradesh adjoining Odisha coast. Then it moved across the country and weakened into a low pr- oil mark low pressure area and uh, lay over South Gujarat region and adjoining Gulf of Khambad. As of now, the system again uh, emerged emerged into Arabian Sea near the Gulf of Kutch. and intensified into a depression in uh, today morning at 5:30 and it, uh, again it uh, moved west northwestward now it is a depression uh, lay over uh, depression lying over uh, northeast arabian sea at uh, uh, northeast arabian sea of gujarat coast yeah so it is near gujarat coast right yes okay uh do you think it will hit gujarat coast no okay now can you explain uh, about the nomenclature of these uh, cyclones that is uh, they give the names like uh, shaheen or gulab or whatever actually the name uh, the uh, the uh, in meteorological department under uh, world meteorological organization mm-hmm. all the countries they belong uh, so all the country they give some uh, names mm-hmm. suggestions uh, name of the cyclone it, it was uh, started um, few years back and the name was suggested even we indian also we suggest we also give some names and they uh, reshuffle the names and keep in uh, keep uh, in the format and the moment wherever the cyclone forms they keep on uh, picking up a name and give that name of the cyclone i it may it not necessarily ki indian name will only come in india it it may the name uh, uh, pakistan or sri lanka any name can come but it, because it is really it is the names are kept and the cyclone they, they form over this uh, ocean and they keep on giving the name so uh, so in uh, forthcoming cyclone name may be uh, 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वु लाइक टू मेन्सन हियर साइक्लोन इज गोईंग फार अवे फ्रॉम इंडियन कोस्ट इट इज नॉट गोईंग टू हिट द इंडियन कोस्ट and uh, so the uh, the impact of cyclone for inland of uh, gujarat is uh, not much only uh, thing is that today uh, due to the depression today the coastal saurashtra kutch uh, like uh, the bhumi dwarka porbandar kutch uh, is likely to get heavy to very heavy rainfall and uh, day today also uh, from 30th september 1st october and 2nd uh, october there will be uh, wind speed will be high uh, scurly scurly wind will be there over the coast uh, gujarat coast that is why fisherman are advised not to venture into the open sea and uh, signal port warning is also um, issued for the uh, entire gujarat coast for all the ports and uh, signal has been uh, signal is hoist uh, for the coast and the moment the system the as per the movement of system the signal can be changed uh, do you think uh, amdavad will be affected by this cyclone no uh, no amdavad will not be affected mane as i said uh, ki entire gujarat uh, inland gujarat land a uh, land area of gujarat will not be affected by the cyclone however uh, the coastal uh, coastal area of gujarat where fisherman goes and all the fishing up uh, and port operations uh, happens in the those areas will be affected by the wind so that is why all the warning has been given to fisherman as well as port not even uh, rains or something rain only day one that is due to the depression day one only we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall tomorrow onwards the heavy rainfall is not expected isolate uh, only uh, light to moderate rain will be there okay in whole over gujarat uh, also rashtra so rashtra in kutch only okay yeah can you tell me how much will gujarat be affected by this cyclone gujarat will not be affected by the cyclone because cyclone is going away from the indian coast yeah uh now can you tell me please ke what uh, where it will uh, land the la- what where will be the landfall of this uh, cyclone landfall is not so since it is not a land f- it is not going to hit uh, indian coast so it is mostly it is go- uh, moving towards north west north west north west one in the coastal re- regions uh, it will uh, affect uh, it will damage something or no no no, 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 no. no. it is a very light type of uh, no it is going away see amara india is there agar cyclone is moving away from the coast so it uh, coast will not yes yes i understood Okay so thank you very much for giving us such a wonderful information and giving your precious time to us thank you so much yes yes yeah. yes sure thank you dr manorama mohanty for providing your valuable insights i am sure it must have cleared all the doubts of our viewers thank you for joining with us get all the latest weather updates only on its tomorrow news subscribe to our channel if you haven't hit that bell button for daily notification meanwhile stay home stay safe